around about nine o'clock in the morning, it's Saturday. So now I'll have two coats, it needs a third obviously, and uh, then I'll just sand it and get on with the painting. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, go and have a coffee and a bit of breakfast, so uh, catch you later, cheers. Okay, so while whilst the uh, filler is drying, which will take a few hours, I thought it was a good time to start tidying up this landing area. Got big plans for this landing, uh, which you'll see down the line, way down the line probably. But uh, these bags are all from when I took the render off the walls in there before I did the stonework. And it's time to get them out of the way and start to have a tidy up and uh, see what jobs need doing. Uh, we want to put some floorboards down, even if it's only up to about this point here, just so that when we can use the bedroom, we can go from the sheet into there and not have to go on all these dirty old floorboards. And uh, we can also start to get some of the electrical cables underneath as well. So yeah, I'm gonna clear these bags up. I'm not gonna do too many because it's absolutely uh, red hot and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'll just take a few up and down the stairs and uh, get them ready to go to the tip. Catch you later. Cheers. everybody it's a very hot afternoon um, I've been sat outside for a while cooling off had a shower had some lunch and now I'm going to start a job I've wanted to do for some time and that is getting these beams all stained in the wax uh, the wax has been outside in the garden for a couple of days and the reason I did that was to uh, melt it it goes further when it's melted it's very hard to apply to a big area and rough beams when it's in a solid form, so it's all melted. It should go on a lot easier. My biggest concern is I won't have enough. If not, then I will have to uh, bring some more over from the UK because it's too expensive here to buy. Small tin here about that size is 70 euros. And uh, in the UK, a large tin is 70 pounds. So uh, it's a no brainer, I'd have to buy it in England. I've got protection down on the floor to uh, make sure none of the stain gets on there because we're gonna paint this white. But uh, yeah, let's give it a go. I think it's going to make a big difference to how the ceiling, the walls and the stone walls look as well. So uh, let's see how we go. Cheers.
All I've managed to get done is one beam. The uh, wax uh, just thickens back up again in the tin. Uh, last year it must have been so much hotter, I don't know it was, uh, than it is now. And it stayed in liquid form for quite some time, but this is just uh, going solid again. Plus as well, it's clogging up the brushes. The brushes aren't working very well. I haven't got enough to finish the whole ceiling. Do I wait? Probably about two months. Um, I'm out here till the middle of July. Do I wait until two months after that, so August, September time, and bring some more over with me? Or do I go and see if I can find a wood stain? Or I don't, I'm sure I won't get any wax, but some sort of wood stain that's as dark as what this is. This is Jacobean. And use that. Luckily, I've only done the one beam, so if I did find something, the majority of it would uh, be the same. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, I'm going to nip down to La Rochelle, um, to Leroy Merlin, see what products they have, see how they are stain-wise and colour-wise, and if I think it's going to look too different, I'll just have to wait. So uh, that will be the plan tomorrow, and uh, just take it from there. So uh, thanks for watching. A pity I couldn't get it all done. I do desperately want to get this done. Um, but uh, we'll get there in the end. So catch you soon. Cheers. So I went and uh, a look at what Leroy Merlin and all the other DIY places have to offer. Nothing like this at all. I could get wood stain, but I couldn't really get a dark brown. This is Jacobean, and I think it's the darkest colour they do, and I could get nothing near it, not by a million miles. Most of it was like a reddy colour. So then I had a bit of a eureka moment. I thought, I wonder if you can dilute wax. Never heard of it being done before. I googled it. Yes, you can. So I did. And it goes on a treat. And I've just done this beam here on the underside and the far side as a test. I thought, I'm going to do it all if it's wrong. And uh, you have to, it takes a while to mix it, uh, but once you've mixed it, you basically put it on a wood stain, not a wax, and it, it just flows. It goes on, the brush doesn't clog up. Um, so I'm going to do this other side of this beam now, and then I might stop and I'll do the rest tomorrow. But I'm just so pleased I found a way of doing it and uh, not having to wait until I come again next time. The colour is slightly lighter than the other when it goes on pure. Well, you'd expect that but uh, it's not that big a difference especially up there so uh, yeah I'm really pleased with that and I shall continue cheers so you do have to be a bit more careful when you're applying this because it is very fluid it's uh, basically a liquid you know, before it was a wax so I'm going to brush away from this wall. <clears throat> you have to just be careful with the white paint above it. But uh, yeah, I think it's saved the day this.
Well, I can't believe it. I'm just so pleased how well that's turned out. Um, you use very little. Um, it, you just have to be careful because it's very fluid and it, it, you can't, you definitely won't be able to use a roller. It just splatter everywhere, so you just have to be very careful on the edges. I have touched it once or twice, but they'll come out. So uh, it saved the day using a um, mineral spirit, diluting it, and uh, tomorrow I will carry on. I want to finish now. I want to see how this dries overnight, um, and then I'll carry on tomorrow. Definitely have enough, uh, more than enough. Um, it hardly uses any. So yeah, great result. Okay, everybody, take care. Catch you tomorrow. Cheers.